All right, so let's look at this one. We're given this, and we want to express the force as a Cartesian vector. Now, don't let this second sentence throw you off. Um, we'll, we'll do this later. We'll, we'll find the quarter direction angles later. But this first sentence, express it as a Cartesian vector, and we are given spherical angles. We are given spherical angles. So what's my, what's my process? I'm, I'm going to draw this. Take my force and break it into Z and XY and take XY and break it into X and Y. It's two 2D problems. So step one, take this and break it up into its Z component and its XY component. That's a 2D problem. Uh, so I'm going to say that the, uh, I'm going to start with the XY would be 100 cosine 60, right? And the Z would be 100 sine 60. Maybe, maybe draw them right here, right? See that 60 degree angle? It's a 2D triangle. Uh, so the XY, 100 cosine 60, would be 50 pounds, and the Z component would be uh, 100 sine 60, 86.6 pounds. All right, now I'm going to take that 50. This is 50 down here. That force is 50, and let me break it up into its X and Y components. Uh, we're lucky it's a 45 degree angle. Don't I can't mess that up, but uh, it'd be 50 cosine 45 uh, would be the x component, and 50 sine 45 would be the y component. So this would be uh, 35.4 and 35.4. But uh, unlike quarter direction angles, I've got to give it a negative myself if it is in the negative direction. So you see that x? Uh, that, that, yeah, that's the positive x direction. But you see this y? That y is in the negative. So it's negative. I, for, for spherical angles, you've got to give the negatives yourself. All right, and then this z, is this z positive or negative? It, it's up. It, it's in the positive z direction. So... Step one for this problem, writing it as uh, a vector, would be, what, what is it, where, where's the x, right there, 35.4 in the i, where's the y, minus 35.4 in the j, uh, where's the z, 86.6 in the k, units are pounds, box in your answer. That's the first part of it. Now, the second part of it, now let's calculate the quarter direction angles. And so now I've got to think F equals FU. This is kind of a separate problem, two separate problems. Now I've got this F. Um, I think I kind of have the magnitude. What is the magnitude? I could double check, but I didn't do anything to this. This should still be 100. Yeah, so I've got this, I've got that. Now I can find the quarter direction angles. So 35.4 in the I minus 35.4 in the J plus 86.6 in the K equals magnitude times cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. Uh, and so it's really three equations. 35.4 on the left-hand side of the equation, the right-hand side of our equation, um, that, the J negative 35.4 equals 100 cosine beta, the K uh, positive, let's see, 86.6 equals 100 cosine gamma. Put those into our calculator to find alpha 69.27, beta 110.73, and gamma 30 degrees. So there we go. There's our coordinate direction angles. You know, I actually knew that gamma already. Uh, I didn't do anything to this vector. I didn't add two vectors together uh, or anything. Um, that gamma is, is that gamma right there. It's 30 degrees. If it's 60 degrees above the ground, uh, you know, then it's 30 degrees to the horizontal, to the vertical, sorry. If it is 60 degrees above horizontal, it's 30 degrees from vertical. I already knew that that gamma was 30 degrees, but uh, the math kind of just gave it to me again as well. All right?